The need for affordable housing in Dallas has reached what the city calls a crisis level with no quick solutions. Dallas council members are considering a new proposal that would allow developers to build more dense apartment complexes with fewer parking spaces in exchange for creating on or off site affordable housing. Fox Force Lori Brown live in Dallas to explain. Lori. Blake, in the four hour long discussion, Dallas City Council members were told that the city is in a housing crisis with everything from apartments that are affordable to luxury apartments at a 98% occupancy rate. But city council members are concerned about cuts to parking requirements and fees that might be too high for developers as tools to help solve the problem. Speaking today for all the parents of my students who can't take time off of work, um, but are struggling to deal with the increases in rent. A Dallas ISD middle school teacher used a break between classes to tell council members he sees the need for affordable housing firsthand. He urged them to change rules that require a certain number of parking spaces for apartment developments. We are better, a more equitable city when we use space as places for people to live rather than to park. The city's plan would allow developers to build taller apartment complexes with fewer parking spaces. In exchange, the developers would need to either build affordable units or pay into a city fund that would subsidize them throughout the city. Another resident told council members that going up is the wrong direction. We don't need denser multifamily. We don't need scaled down incentives. What we do need in contrast that will do amazing things to take the city to even greater heights is single family residential. Dallas City Councilwoman Kara Mendelson agreed. Having 65% multifamily in my district, it becomes unhealthy. But city staffs and apartment complexes are the primary way to solve the housing problem. We cannot build our way out of our housing need in a single family, one per 5,000 lot house. Dallas has less than one month supply of apartments. By contrast, a six month supply is considered healthy. I have never seen our market so full. The city currently requires five parking spaces for every four apartment units. City staff is recommending a dramatic cut down to one parking space for every two apartment units. We asked current and future mixed income and market rate developers to go count cars in their parking lots late at night. It turns out that in general, these multifamily developments only use about one space per unit. Mendelssohn said that doesn't apply to far north Dallas. It's not a walkable. We are not a one size fits all city. The fact that we don't have an walkable city actually shows us that we do have a problem because we do have induced demand. So when you have an expectation that wherever you go, you get a free parking spot, of course, the market doesn't give you even an option to actually use transit. Despite all of the concerns raised, the Dallas City Council is expected to vote on the plan as early as May 11th. Blake.